Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with another 3D app icon design and this time we're going to take a look at the Apple logo. Uh, we're going to try to turn it into a glass uh, 3D uh, object and here's how we do it. I got my shapes ready so it's very simple, it's just the Apple logo and I also created this backdrop. It's, um, um, yeah, I'm just going to use it as a background. Okay, let me just show you how to do that. So let's start with the Apple logo, go to 3D, and then as always, 3D extrusion, create, change the depth to 0.1, and then go to the bevel and uh, inflate section, change the sides to front and back, and let's start with the bevel. Um, contour, this one on the bottom left, and angle is fine with let's change it to four maybe two well, let's just, let's start with two okay just zoom in that's not enough let's do four yeah four should be fine and we move on to inflate uh, 45 degree that's fine and then uh, strength uh, let's do four yeah this is perfect all right so this is what I wanted to do with the logo and then we move on to the backdrop. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see what's happening. Backdrop, go to 3D, extrusion, create, and um, let's increase the depth to something much larger, like 750. There we go, should be fine. Once that's done, let's just select both 3D objects, go to 3D and merge these layers, okay? We can select both from this panel, just select the ones with the star icon next to it. Okay, and then at the coordinates here, we can just move them to the ground, align them. There we go, might have to move it again to the ground, there we go. All right, uh -uh, let's just move it down. Let me just move it in so we can see what's happening. All right, um, let's just leave it like that. We can change the angles in dimension, okay? So this is fine. We can go to 3D, export 3D layers, and then change, um, change it to wavefront OBG, and just press okay. Add a name, there we go. And once that's done, we can move to dim uh, dimension. So let's change the canvas size to 560-1440. There we go. And then we can change the view to fit canvas. So once that's done, let's start importing our 3D objects. Okay, 3D model. And then here we'll just select the logo. Okay, press this button here. So you, it will just zoom to the, to the object. And um, let's change camera to front. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, okay, let's change camera to, let's say left, yeah, much better. We can change the Apple logo angle here, just so minus 90, move it down a little bit more to the plane, there we go. Backdrop, we can increase the size like this. And I dupl duplicated it accidentally. That's fine. Okay, let's just remove it. Okay, let's remove the other one. <laughs> this one here. All right, good. Let's zoom into our object. Uh, something like this should be fine. Yes, perfect. Save this view. Here we are. And let's add some material to it. Okay, backdrop. I'm just going to use this one here. And uh, roughness, I'll just keep it like that. Maybe change the color to white. There we go. And then the Apple logo, we want it to be glass. There we go. And maybe change the color, something like a, a bluish kind of. Uh, yeah, something like that. 
just something like this here. Perfect. Okay, let's just um, have a look at the render preview. Okay, yeah, all right. It's uh, way too light. So let's just go to environment and work on the environment light. Okay, we have to go to this environment light section here and select the Studio Softbox 3. Okay, and uh, change the intensity. It was way too bright, so 50% should be fine. And then just find an angle which you like. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking at this highlight here, so something like this should be fine. Yeah, it's nice details showing on the icon. So let's have a look. Yes, much, 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 much better. Awesome, cool. Okay, another thing I wanted to do, go to environment and then, uh, uh, yeah, shadow and reflection opacity. Okay, we can, we can bring it up to like 80, roughness to, again, about, let's say 80. Let's have a look. Does that work? Okay, right up. A bit more. Okay. Let's go to 50. All right. Yeah, this should be fine. Might decrease to 40% the intensity. And then this should be fine. Yes, I think this is perfect actually. Okay, great. So we can go to render and then add a name. I'm just gonna use Apple logo. There we go. PSD, good. And then let's just render. This takes about 10 minutes, so um, I'm going to skip ahead and I'll see you in Photoshop. So the render just finished and we're back in Photoshop. Um, first thing I like to uh, open these additional layers and the second one object selection mask this is great to isolate the logo um, so I select it and isolate the logo make a selection of it create a new layer and you can turn this off now and start painting in let's just color pick from somewhere here yeah there we go let's just paint in here some highlights um, like this something like that yeah that's great change the blend mode to color dodge like this and double click to open layer styles and turn this off and change the fill opacity to something around 30 30 should be fine yeah so you can see before and after i think it's pretty cool and once everything is done go to select all and then copy merged paste just to create a new layer and then we can change it into a smart object and apply some final camera raw filter as I like to do at the end always so we go to basics I don't really change anything just want to add a little bit of texture and be a clarity and the haze like this just a tiny bit that's just a touch and then vibrance here and then down at the effects panel we can just use the green effect something like eight which works fine and then just a touch of vignette like yeah like 15 should be fine i think there we go all right so yeah i think it's, it's pretty nice okay so this is the uh, tutorial i wanted to show you guys i hope you like it and uh, if you do please hit the like button it helps me and the channel a lot and i appreciate it if you like this kind of videos please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have got any ideas for, for, for future uh, video tutorials okay thank you bye